On this episode of Shawnee G 88's Computer Repair, I show you a camcorder from the early to the mid 2000s. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you a Sony Handycam from the late 90s, early 2000s thousands so what this is this is a video camera and it has a screen just like the one just like the modern ones but if I turn it around it has a tape drive a digital linear tape just like your VHS and the switch is on the front so if I put it you have camera, off, and player. The player means you can play back, off means off obviously, and camera means to record. So if I turn the switch to camera, and the battery's dead. So you have batteries, or you have the charger. Now what's nice about this particular charger is it has a switch on it so I could take this end right here plug it into the back of the camera and use it plugged in this has a switch on it for obvious reasons the reason it has a switch is this is charged so I could charge battery or I could use it as a regular AC adapter so I'm going to use it as a regular AC adapter here and there's a there's a tiny button here you push that the battery comes out you take this and you go in just like that but it's not going to work right now because I have to switch over there we go so it should be working now oh that was a new battery I have one that is charged where is that oh that was it okay okay so there we go so Should be on, but it is not. I'm going to put a new battery in it. okay so it is working so if I go to player here for some reason the screen doesn't want to uh, oh, there we go there we go so the screen does work and as you can see I have it plugged directly into the wall 
So if I do that, while it's plugged in directly into the wall, it doesn't want to uh, turn on the screen for some reason. But here's the cool part, right? So if I push eject, watch this. There we go. And it's an eight millimeter tape drive. These tapes are almost the size of an audio cassette. This is how we used to get our data. Now, I can use this in modern times, but what I would have to do is get a eight millimeter adapter for a regular VHS tape cassette. And then what I could do is play it into my computer through a VCR and I could edit the videos. Now watch what happens when I close it. Push. There we go. It automatically goes in. So if I turn it this way, watch again. Lifts up, pushes out. I push back in. Lowers down. So the motors work. And what's cool about it is, is when I go into player mode, here's what I have. I have a stop, rewind, play, fast forward, and pause. And there's a lock on here, so I probably, I forget that it's there. And this is my record slash stop recording. So, there we go. The screen does work. Turns out I had the lock on, and when you turn the lock on, it turns out the screen. So you, you think the screen isn't working. If I turn the lock off, it turns on the screen. So let me lower the brightness here. What see this right here that's flashing? On a modern day camera, that would be an SD card with the line through it. This is a tape with the line through it. So all that has changed for the this type of camera is instead of using a cassette, you're using it a micro SD card. So turn it off, just right there close it up just like a normal modern day camera all right so anyway with that said that is it for this video please comment like subscribe and click that bell for more notifications